What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all are having a beautiful, blessed day out there today. Thank God for waking me up today, breathing the breath of life into me, letting me have another day, letting you have another day so you could sit here and watch this video. So I wanted to make this video today because it's very important, and I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that might notice that my room looks a lot different than what it used to. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably know this already. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little funny too. I am sick again, so squeaky voice is back a little bit. Sound like a teenage boy. But nevertheless, I just wanted to let everybody know that this is a big video for me because I am changing things up uh, on the channel. And it's a very happy, happy time for me finally making this video, kind of talking about it. Uh, because like I said, if you followed me on Instagram, you probably know the story a little bit more. Um, I've been showing a lot more that I am getting closer in my faith with Jesus, my walk with Christ. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He is my provider. He is my everything. And he has done amazing things for my life. When things were not so hot for myself, going through the toughest times of my life in 2023, towards the latter part of 2023, or like middle to latter part of 2023, he was the one that picked me up, wiped away my tears, and you know, told me to keep moving forward, gave me the strength to keep moving forward, gave me the peace, the happiness. He is amazing, God is good. I say it all the time, God is good. And I gotta be thankful for him every single day for blessing me with you know the little things and the big things that he always does for me. Um, and he, that he does for all of you too. But again, like I said, um, things look a little different in here. All my stuff is gone. And the big thing is that I am no longer going to be uploading on this channel the type of content that I was uploading before. You know, anime and manga based things, I'm not gonna be uploading anymore. I'm not gonna be talking about Bunny Girl Senpai anymore or anything else really like that stuff or any sort of anime and manga things I'm not gonna really talk about. Um, I might talk about it in the future in a different way but we'll see what happens with that. I'm not sure if I'm going to at all, but it's gonna be in a very different way that I don't know if people will really like. I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there that might be sad or whatever, or they might have some sort of feelings about this. They might not like this decision for myself, whatever it may be, but it's my decision and it's a happy decision. I'm loving it. And you know, God is calling me to go out there and to be able to do great things for him, calling me for a greater purpose and to not live the life that I was living before. I was wrestling with it for a good bit, you know, like, should I do that? Should I do that? You know, I built this channel and done this for years and stuff like that. Maybe not as cons uh, consistent as what I would have wanted to um, and things of that nature, but still, you know, the Lord was, you know, convicting my heart, letting me know, like, you can't have one foot in the door with Jesus and another foot in the door with anime and manga and, you know, anime and manga even though it's provided some good and good memories for myself it's also provided some bad for myself as well that's led into you know into sin in some ways so i don't want to be around anime and manga you know i want to dedicate my whole life to jesus and you know and be away from the stuff that is not fruitful for my life the unfruitful distractions that i do have in my life so that's a big reason why i got rid of a lot of the stuff that i do have or that I did have here in my room. I haven't gotten rid of all of it yet. I got rid of pretty much everything that's, you know, in sight that was in sight when I do videos and stuff like that, just in sight of my room when you walk into it really. Um, that was anime and manga based, but I do have some stuff a little bit that is in my closet here as well. There's like a bunch of like anime figure boxes and stuff like that from a lot of the anime figures that I did have, or they have some anime figures still in those boxes that are still in the closet here. I have a couple of wall scrolls and things of that nature that I will be throwing away as well, like I did all the other stuff that I did have. And yeah, so that's pretty much the situation that's at hand there. No more anime content on this channel. And I will be transitioning pretty soon fully to having this channel be a, you know, talking about the word of God, the gospel, speaking over that kind of stuff, making those types of videos on this channel, which is very, very exciting. Going to be doing streams and things of that nature as well on reading parts of the Bible, maybe that I've already read or parts of it that I haven't read yet. And you guys will be, you know, going, coming along for that ride if you decide to, you know, stick around on the channel. If you guys don't, that's completely fine. If you're, you know, if this is not your thing, if this puts you off in any sort of way, then, you know you know, you guys are free to unsubscribe. That's completely fine, like I said. But just know that I love you, care about you, wish you the best in life, and we'll continue to pray for you always. But yeah, it's a pretty exciting time uh, to be, you know, on the channel. You know, I know that there are some people on my channel that do, you know, believe in Jesus. If you are a skeptic in any sort of way or whatever, or you are going through a tough time or whatever it may be, you're an unbeliever, you have some interest in it in some fashion or whatever it may be, then 
stick around on the channel. I'm going to be talking about Jesus a lot, the miracles that he does, the great, amazing things that he did for myself, as well as a lot of other people out there. So yeah, we're going to be, you know, doing that on the channel. So that's just something to expect in the near future for some people that, you know, maybe, you know, be caught off guard when I do make a video like that in the future or, you know, put up a stream or something like that. But like I said, God is amazing, did amazing stuff for myself at the lowest points of my life. I had friends and family that were there for me and shout out to all those people. You are amazing. You know, I pray for you every day, you know, that God continues to bless you guys and, you know, keeps you guys healthy and things of that nature. I love you guys. But, you know, they had those conversations with me or whatever were there for me in some fashion, you know, for like an hour or two or, you know, like in other ways, you know, they were there for me as well. But, you know, they were always there with me. They weren't always there with me when I was here by myself. They wasn't they weren't here with me when, you know, like I was you know, crying a lot and things of that nature, you know, like bawling my eyes out for situations that I had going on and stuff. Jesus was there for me. The Lord was there for me. And again, picked me up and took care of me and, and, you know, made sure that, you know, I had a straight head on my shoulder, gave me the strength to, to keep on walking, to keep on going and showing me the light and showing me the way that I need to, you know, not live the way that I was living before because it wasn't really fruitful. So I need to, you know, Get, like I said, get rid of the unfruitful distractions that I had and be able to walk in the faith properly, you know, give, you know, give my life to the Lord and, you know, exalt the Lord and give all the glory to him because he is the reason why I'm here today. He is the reason why I have a roof over my head. He is the reason why I have food in my house. He is the reason why I woke up today. He is the reason he, he is my everything and he is amazing and blesses me every single day. Or, you know, even things that I don't even realize, like he blesses me for. And he does that for all of you guys as well. He loves you. He cares about you. He wants you in the kingdom of heaven. He wants you. He's knocking on your door. He's knocking on the door to your heart. And he wants you to repent and to re believe in the gospel and to know that he loves you. He wants to show you that peace. He wants to show you that happiness. He wants to strip away any anger, any bitterness, any jealousy, any bad thing that you may have in your heart or that you're dealing with right now. He, may, he wants to give you the strength to get through the trials that come in your life. He wants to, like I said, give you the peace and the joy, you know, that Jesus will bring you. You know, nobody else does it. You know, Mary won't do it for you. Joseph won't do it for you. You know, the saints and stuff that Catholicism, you know, people that are Catholic like to pray to and stuff. They're not going to do it for you. Buddha's not going to give it to you. You know, like they're not going to give you that peace. Muhammad's not going to give it to you. And I'm sorry if that offends some people, but I'd rather tell you the truth and take the chance on you being offended than lie to you and lead you astray down a dark path of believing something that's, you know, not the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. There's no one that gets to the Father in heaven except through him. I'm sorry if this upsets some of you people um, out there, some people that are out there that are subscribed to me or whatever, or new people that are coming into the channel expecting more anime content or manga content in some sort of way. But I love you guys. I'm sorry if, you know, if it upsets people, but I'm not sorry at the same time because, you know, like I'm, I'm praising God. It's great time right now and I'm just so happy and I can't wait for you all to see, you know, the fruit that comes from it. And I pray that anybody that does stick around on the channel or any new people that do come into the channel, gain some insight, learn about the word of God, learn about the man that died for you and that died for me and died for everybody in this world because he loves us all so much. I hope that you learn some more about him and come to Jesus Christ because he loves you and he cares about you and he's knocking on the door to your heart. I hope that anybody out there that is feeling any sort of way, feels that conviction in their heart or feels ashamed or too ashamed in some way to come to Jesus because you know that you've done wrong. We're all sinners out here. I've done wrong. You've done wrong in your life. Nobody is perfect. The only perfect one is God. The only perfect one is Jesus. But if you feel too ashamed to come to Jesus, know that you can come to him, that you don't have to be some squeaky clean person to come to God, to call out God, to call out Jesus for help, for strength, that he will be there for you with what little that you have, what little that you may have. If your world is crumbling all around you, for what little you have, bring it to God, call out to Jesus, and he will provide for you. He will do amazing and abundant things with the little that you have and make it amazing. I promise you that. In Jesus' name, I hope we all have some great times here, and I love all of you, and I appreciate everybody for watching all the videos that I have made over the course of the years that I have made videos on this channel, but there will be a lot more videos and streams and stuff in the near future, just talking about our Lord and Savior. 
But I hope you all have an amazing, blessed rest of your day. Thank God for another day. And I'll catch you all later. See ya.